I visited our troops in Afghanistan last year to thank them on behalf of a grateful nation. I told them they could take great pride in the progress that they helped achieve. They struck devastating blows against the Al Qaeda leadership in the tribal regions, delivered justice to Osama bin Laden, prevented terrorist attacks, and saved American lives. While America's combat mission in Afghanistan may be over, our commitment to Afghanistan and its people endures. As Commander in Chief, I will not allow Afghanistan to be used as safe haven for terrorists to attack our nation again. Our forces, therefore, remain engaged in two narrow but critical missions training Afghan forces and supporting counterterrorism operations against the remnants of Al Qaeda. Of course, compared to the 100,000 troops we once had in Afghanistan, Today, fewer than 10,000 remain in support of these very focused missions. Afghan forces are still not as strong as they need to be. They are developing critical capabilities, intelligence, logistics, aviation, command and control. And meanwhile, the Taliban has made gains, particularly in rural areas, and can still launch deadly attacks in cities, including Kabul. Much of this was predictable. We understood that as we transitioned, that the Taliban would try to exploit uh, some of our uh, movements out of particular areas and that it would take time for uh, Afghan security forces to strengthen. Pressure from Pakistan has resulted in more Al Qaeda coming into Afghanistan and we've seen the emergence of an ISIL presence. The bottom line is in key areas of the country the security situation is still very fragile and in some places there's risk of deterioration. President Ghani and I agreed to continue our counterterrorism cooperation. And he has asked for continued support as Afghan forces grow stronger. I've decided to maintain our current posture of 9,800 troops in Afghanistan through most of next year, 2016. I've decided that instead of going down to a normal embassy presence in Kabul by the end of 2016, we will maintain 5,500 troops at a small number of bases, including at Bagram, Jalalabad in the east, and Kandahar in the south. We will work with allies and partners to align the steps I am announcing today with their own presence in Afghanistan after 2016. Finally, because governance and development remain the foundation for stability and progress in Afghanistan, we will continue to support President Ghani and the National Unity Government as they pursue critical reforms. Next week, I'll host Prime Minister Sharif of Pakistan, and I will continue to urge all parties in the region to press the Taliban to return to peace talks and to do their part in pursuit of the peace that Afghans deserve. To the Afghan people who have suffered so much, Americans' commitment to you and to a secure, stable, and unified Afghanistan, that remains firm. To the American people. I know that many of you have grown weary of this conflict. As you are well aware, I do not support the idea of endless war. And I have repeatedly argued against marching into open-ended military conflicts that do not serve our core security interests. Yet, given what's at stake in Afghanistan and the opportunity for a stable and committed ally that can partner with us in preventing the emergence of future threats, and the fact that we have an international coalition. 